welcome. I want to introduce to you the NOAA project. The NOAA project has grown out of the efforts of countless hobbyists, tropical fish hobbyists, insect hobbyists, reptile hobbyists, small animals, coral, you name it, hobbyists. People who have dedicated substantial portions of their lives, their time and their effort to, to do precisely what Noah was charged with doing, to save and protect animals endangered in this world on this earth. So the NOAA project will begin by being a series of interviews with people who have substantial collections that may be in number and species or whatever, but important collections of animals, not just fish, but insects and reptiles as well, and perhaps others, perhaps small mammals, animals that might otherwise become extinct, that easily in this world could become extinct. Now, there are many such animals kept in captivity that no longer exist in the wild. One of the most obvious ones is the axolotl. The axolotl cannot be found in nature, not in the wild. It exists exclusively in private collections maintained by hobbyists. At such time as an environment becomes available to them, they may be returned to the wild. But until then, they are being kept, being maintained in healthy conditions, multiplying, propagating by private hobbyists, by husbandry, discipline by people caring enough to work and study and learn how to maintain these littlest animals in conditions that will be conducive to their health, to their well-being, and to their species. So the NOAA project is born of the necessity of focusing on these practices and on these individuals, supporting them, encouraging them, and encouraging you to learn from those who have gone before, those who have built collections, those who are doing the hard work of maintaining animals that could easily disappear for all time. So this is a learning tool. It is a teaching tool. But it also is a, is a way of expressing our appreciation and our love and our encouragement for those who are making the effort to save the little animals of the earth. The NOAA Project. The reality is if we don't do it, it will not get done. The zoos are not going to do it. Government is not going to do it. Zoos will only keep those animals that are unique, spectacular, remarkable. They're not going to keep the gray little toad that lives under a burrow somewhere hidden for all time but we will because we love it. <laughs> we will. The state won't do it. Oh, they work at trying to protect environments, biotopes, trying to protect areas where special 
the little animals survive, but it is a losing battle. They struggle to survive, and the states struggle to be able to keep those biotopes healthy and strong and vigorous. And inevitably and ultimately, they fail not just here but around the world their species disappearing every single day and they're not disappearing by going in and harvesting them they're disappearing by their environment being destroyed the very opposite truly for those environments those little biotypes where native people are harvesting those are the ones that are healthy those are the ones that are protected. Those that are the ones that, that are being sustained. But they will disappear too if government has its way and shuts down all efforts to be able to maintain these species. So we must do the work. We must do the hard work. We must do the job. We must learn. And to learn, we must share. So this is an opportunity to share. We're going to do two live streams a week, Monday evening and Wednesday evening. We're going to spend time with people in each one, on each of those evenings, people who have been able to develop substantial, important collections of animals spend time with them, talk with them, share with them, learn from them, and give them the opportunity to share what they're doing, to, to, to learn their secrets, because they all have secrets, and to become part of a community of caring people who love the small animals of this earth. We hope the NOAA project will grow, that it will become something important and significant. But for those of us who are participating, it will be significant because it will be an opportunity to go in depth with folks whose lives have gone in depth in the care and protection and propagation of little animals. So we invite you to join us be a part of this wonderful adventure so that as we grow together and share together, we may build a community of support and lots of arcs, Noah's arcs, that will be protecting the small animals of the earth until such time as the earth is renewed and they can be returned to their natural place. We love you. We invite you to join us. And we look forward to these times together. Take care. Bye for now.